happy or watching TV? I can't believe that old woman kissed you. Oh, it was horrible, Lois. There were still crumbs in the corners of her mouth from that Nilla wafer she had at lunch. Are you sure there wasn't some kind of misunderstanding? No, no, those were definitely Nilla wafers. And it really bums me out, you know, because I thought she was something special. She was like a mom to me. Well, then you should go talk to her and try to clear this up. It sounds weird, but maybe it was innocent. I mean, this wouldn't be the first time you thought someone was hitting on you. Would you like to add chips and a drink? Here we go again. All right, Rupert, here we go. Well, I'm not dead, but I do have a boner. So that is something new about Stewie. Okay, death by cop. Hey, copper, come get me! Oh, no, an armed assailant. I definitely don't want to die today. I have so much to live for. Well, come on, shoot me! But one day I don't wear my bulletproof vest. What are you waiting for? I'm wide open. Don't you hate how the heart is right about here? Just kiss your fruitcakes. All right, Rupert. The old toaster in the tub never fails. <laughs> oh, damn. I wanted to die, not turn into toaster man. I don't know about this toaster man. While he's getting all the glory, John Q. Taxpayer is left to clean up the crumbs. <gasps> My breakfast bread just got perfectly browned. I just wish I could thank him. Oh, I think he knows, Pop. I think he knows. Evelyn, we need to talk. Oh, Peter, I owe you an apology. I'm afraid my new medicine made me act foolishly yesterday. You must forgive me. Oh. Well, so it, it, was, it was just your medicine, huh? Well, I guess I can understand that. You know, I'm addicted to nasal spray. <laughs> I smell everything! I'm invincible! <laughs> I'm probably gonna be a little down until I use the spray again. That's okay, Peter. Now come along. I've got quite the day planned for us. She's just Evelyn, I think it's best that we don't see each other anymore. But, Peter... No, Evelyn, I trusted you, and all this funny business keeps happening, and I don't think it's your medicine at all. So I'm afraid this is goodbye. But, Peter, I thought we were friends. Yeah, right. You tricked me. You're as bad as those predators on the Internet. That's wild, Stacy. I'm a 12-year-old girl, too. My name's Jenny. Want to come over to my place and help me move? Hey, you're not a 12-year-old girl. Neither are you, Jenny. Huh. I guess we aren't so different after all. Yeah. You know, this isn't a whole lot of stuff. We can probably knock this out in an hour. What the hell? Stewie, what the hell are you doing? He's doing his taxes. What's it look like he's doing? Vito, get away from the neighbor's house. I'm killing myself, Brian. You said it yourself. When we die, there's nothing. We just rot in the ground. Well, if life has no purpose, why not just cut to the chase? Look, Stewie, I know you're worried, but you can't live your life being scared of death. Nobody knows what comes next, so all we can do is pack the most we can into each day we've got. So for you, that's taking a 45-minute shaky leg poop on the front lawn? I'm just saying.